The bakery at Wegmans is known for its fresh delights made in-store. So why are some of those delights actually frozen and then shipped in by truck? Gluten intolerance, which is the inability of the body to comfortably or safely digest gluten, affects around 6% of the American population. While the majority of those affected will experience uncomfortable but mild symptoms such as bloating or diarrhea, there is a much smaller percentage of people who will experience serious side effects if they are exposed to the ingredient. This last group includes people with celiac disease. People with this condition, which make up about 1% of the U.S. population, must be extremely wary not only of accidental gluten ingestion, but also cross-contamination with gluten. Wegmans is known for its large selection of gluten-free products, making it a great option for those with gluten allergies or sensitivities. However, shoppers who have celiac disease may want to approach even the bakery items marked as gluten-free with caution. According to one Redditor, Many of the products are prepared in a shared area. This means that a gluten-free loaf could be sliced on a cutting board that was used to cut a standard, gluten-filled one. For this reason, bakery items are technically listed as just having gluten-free ingredients, rather than actually being certified gluten-free. We don't say that anything that is produced, packaged, or serviced in our stores would be gluten-free. It's the big day. In between balloons and arranging party bags, you realize with horror that you forgot to put in the order for the cake. Before your stomach drops into your shoes, take a breath. Even though Wegman says you must make your order 24 hours in advance, the cake decorators can still save your kid's party by way of a ready-made cake. Wegmans adheres pretty staunchly to its 24-hour rule for custom cake orders, reportedly to allow for enough time for the cakes, which arrive frozen, to thaw. This also gives decorators adequate time to beautify cakes. However, the department typically keeps a refrigerator lined with frosted, ready-to-go cakes that anyone can purchase on a whim. This can be your saving grace if you drop the ball on planning. Just like any restaurant or grocery store, Wegmans isn't without its criticisms. Perhaps the most consistent critique of the chain centers on its prices, the most notorious of which is slapped onto the front of its fan favorite, Ultimate Chocolate Chip Cookie Pack. This mid-sized plastic bucket full of bakery chocolate chip cookies is usually found at the front of the store, complete with a whopping $15 price tag. One Redditor wrote, had a friend buy them without checking the price. He called after finding the $15 charge. He thought it was a mistake. They said to him, yeah, we get a lot of phone calls about the cookies. According to multiple employees, these front runner treats are marked up and placed strategically by the entrance of the store. But one wrote on Reddit that if you go to the back of the store, you'll find the real treasures. We stage them at the front because there's enough customers in the clientele who can afford it with ease. Head to the back and you'll find a family pack of soft-baked mini chocolate chip cookies. There's like 60 little cookies for $5.50. So the next time you hit up Wegmans in search of the perfect cookie steal, we recommend heading straight past those buckets and directly to the back for a true deal. Next time you're feeling frustrated and thinking of taking it out on the employee who's boxing up your cupcake behind the counter at the Wegmans bakery, think again. According to some employees venting on Reddit, things are reportedly rougher behind the scenes than you might expect. In a Reddit thread titled, It Keeps Getting Worse, in the Wegmans subreddit, Employees describe what they say can be stressful working conditions and double-crossing management. It's all resulted in high levels of turnover in the bakery department. One wrote, We lost at least 10 people this year due to the manager and toxicity of the environment. Another employee chimed in, writing, I agree wholeheartedly. I am very disappointed in the environment my manager has created. Most of us can't deal with the toxicity anymore. Moral of the story, be nice to the Wegmans Bakery employees. You never know if a hint of patience or a smile from you could be the encouragement they need in the midst of a really discouraging morning. Sometimes the sight of the staggering number of stacked breads and rows of cupcakes sitting ready in the Wegmans Bakery is enough to make you wonder, are they really going to sell all that? The answer is no, of course not. There are plenty of loaves of bread and cakes that remain unsold at the end of every shopping day. But we have some good news at least where food waste is concerned. According to employees as well as community volunteers, Wegmans donates a huge portion of these unsold products to charity. One wrote on Reddit, can't give you numbers, but I will say the majority of baked goods are donated to shelters, food banks, along with the meat department items. This was corroborated by another employee who wrote, can confirm, I volunteered with a soup kitchen that got weekly donations from Wegmans. Yet another user described the multitude of delicious breads and desserts marked with the Wegmans tag that were always waiting for their family on their monthly trips to the local food bank. 
So, the next time you leave the store in the evening and see boxes of leftover cookies still sitting on the shelves on your way out, don't mourn too hard. They will likely go toward feeding local people in need as part of Wegmans' broader charity initiative, which also includes food donations. Wegmans will have donation bins at the front of each store. The food donations here in Buffalo will go to Feed More Western New York. Contrary to popular belief, not all Wegmans' baked goods are constructed from scratch every day. In fact, the donuts come to bakers partially made and frozen. And it's not just the donuts. Employees spilling the beans on Reddit indicated that the cakes are all frozen, too. Despite this, though, Wegmans has managed to keep up their reputation, with one employee writing, The donuts come in frozen, but somehow we will still end up in the running for city's best donut. Still, other employees have defended the practice. On a separate thread, one employee insisted that a grocery store with a level of demand that Wegmans experienced must rely on frozen products to keep up. It would literally be impossible to make and put it out at the quantity and the speed they require. Only small family-owned bakeries bake fresh. We all know how disappointing it can be when one of our favorite baked products is discontinued. It's just not the same if you have to settle for a chocolate cake when you really wanted a raspberry one. Especially after you've found that it has been quietly taken off the menu. But the next time you go online to order a Wegmans cake and find that your favorite one has been removed from the drop-down menu, don't lose hope. According to an employee writing on Reddit, the bakers might still be able to help you out if you ask nicely. On a post written by a consumer, searching for their favorite lost Wegmans cake, one employee revealed that many locations allowed for individuality for bakers, so it might be possible to call and request a recreation by describing the flavor profile to them. Wegmans has a lot of secret menu items in their bakeries. Never hurts to ask if it can be done. One of the most exciting things people look forward to every June are the unique rainbow treats that local bakeries, snack companies, and grocery stores develop in recognition of Pride Month. Take Walmart, with its Pride-themed rainbow sherbet, for example, or Kind, and its chocolate and peanut butter Pride granola bars. However, it appears that Wegmans will no longer be included on the list of celebrating companies. According to bakery employees, they were forbidden from developing Pride-inspired baked goods starting in the summer of 2023, allegedly taking the stance in order to maintain an image of political neutrality. One employee described on Reddit how, at their location, a few batches of colorful cookies had been crafted before the ban had officially come into effect. When it was announced, the cookies were pulled from the store and shoved into the break room for the employees to eat, away from the public eye. Not exactly the chain's proudest moment. For many, carrot cake is nothing short of heaven on a cake stand. The brown sugar and spice-infused batter is loaded with shredded carrot. The starring role of this fresh orange vegetable must make it healthy, right? Well, not so fast. While it is true that relatively healthy carrot cake recipes are out there, the Wegmans version is certainly not one of them. Sure, it contains carrots, but it contains many other things too, to the tune of 840 calories a slice. One slice of the cake also contains 54 grams of fat, 85 grams of carbs, and 63 grams of sugar. This makes the Ultimate Carrot Cake a fair bit richer than even the company's super-rich Ultimate Chocolate Cake. While the two maintain about the same sugar content, a chocolate slice slides in at 680 calories and a much lower 24 grams of fat. So while you may have opted for carrot in the past with the vague notion that you were making a healthier choice, you may have to rethink your plan. The chocolate doesn't sound so bad, now does it? Smells chocolatey, eh? Now, eat it! While Wegmans employees don't technically receive any built-in discounts on bakery cakes, cookies, or breads, that doesn't mean that the opportunity for savings isn't there. All those who work for the chain grocer have access to employee-only coupons, such as the standard $5 off coupons, or holiday-specific ones that can be used on a bakery Thanksgiving pie, for example. While this is a huge opportunity to slash a grocery bill, not everyone will take advantage, which is where the next secret comes in. If a given employee doesn't plan to use a coupon before it expires, there's nothing to stop a family member or friend from using it instead. On a Reddit thread in the Wegmans subreddit, the mother of a teenage worker asked other employees if it would be okay if she used his collection of coupons. One responded enthusiastically, Heck yeah, you should use them if he's not going to. Another employee specified that as long as she used the phone number associated with his employee account, she was in the clear to use them, and that the employee would not get in trouble for her doing so. 
So if you've got a special someone in your life who's working at Wegmans with no interest in shopping there, don't be afraid to help them out. Many of us have worked some early shifts in our lives, but Wegmans bakers take things to a whole new level. The employees who kick off the crucial task of popping bread and breakfast items into the oven are typically scheduled to begin their shifts between midnight and 3 a.m. Next to arrive, according to the employees, are the bread slicers, who arrive around 5 a.m. to continue the baking and prep until the store opens. This means that your best bet to get the freshest, fluffy bread or muffin is to also arrive at the store early. Just remember to call your local store to confirm when its bakery opens, because some maintain different hours than the rest of the grocery store. While times vary slightly by location, Wegmans opens its doors on average between the hours of 6 and 7 a.m. This is also when it begins serving breakfast, where you will be able to snag some of those fresh goods that were whipped up by bakers in the middle of the night. But the bakery department itself, where you would pick up your donuts or fresh baked cookie, typically opens around 10 a.m. Regardless of whether you're after a breakfast or dessert item, you'll want to be a doorbuster to get the freshest products you can and to beat the massive crowds looking for goodies. The company estimates some 30,000 people walked through the doors Sunday.